Hello, welcome back to the Tip of the Tongue business series. As you know, we're keen to keep you all informed right now with everything that's going on out there so you can make the best decisions moving forward. Delighted to be chatting with one of our collaborative partners today, Peter O'Sullivan, the Regional Director for Victoria for the CFO Centre. Peter, thank you so much for joining me. I know you must be crazy busy with clients right now. Really important Push. time for them to be thinking about their financing, the structuring of their financing, looking at stabilizing that bottom line for their business to ensure that they sustain over the next couple of months and are still here into the future. So thank you very much for taking the time to chat with me. One of the things I wanted to ask you was what should small to medium sized businesses be doing right now? Okay, it's a pleasure to join you, Sean. Um, there are many things business owner needs to consider and address right now. They're spanning finance, HR, IT, ops, etc. That's why effective planning is so important so an action, action plan can be prepared, communicated to staff and regularly updated. The business, business needs to stress, be stress-tested to assess the potential impact on revenue, profit and cash flow under different assumptions. We call this scenario planning. Only then can the business owner make fully informed strategic decisions and know the likely size and duration of any liquidity shortfall or cash hold. Currently, we're offering SMEs a two hour complimentary no obligation session with one of our CFOs to stress test their businesses. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic offer, Peter. Thank you for letting us know about that. So what would you do with them in that two hour session? An example, Sean, last week I worked with a software company whose sales pipeline has dried up as new projects had all been put on hold and potentially their only revenue for the next quarter was recurring revenue. The owner was unsure whether they would be able to survive and keep trading. So we initially we analysed the year-to-date results and mapped out the next quarter. We identified which cost could be removed from the business and by incorporating the job keeper subsidies, looking at their current cash balances, and commitments and also making agreement with staff to reduce payroll by 50% in April, therefore no staff was stood down. We determined after all of this that the business could keep trading, a very positive result. We were reviewing their situation going forward on a fortnightly basis to update the forecast for any known developments, changes to the business. That's fantastic. That's a very worthwhile two hours for anybody to spend right now. Thank you. So once they get visibility over potential cash flow, what are their options moving forward? Okay, cash is the most important asset for SMEs at all times. And with this pandemic and the extremely uncertain economic environment, it's even more important now. The action plan needs to consider a clear pathway as to the steps to take in order to maximise cash flow and address any liquidity shortfalls. These will invariably include such things as keeping your customers close, ensuring debtor debts or aged debtors don't blow out, keeping suppliers close, securing supply chain, asking for an understanding of payment terms. Is there any stock that we can turn to the cash now, clearing old stock lines? Keeping close with your bank, assessing their ongoing forms of assistance, such as freezing repayments, temporary new lines of credit, etc. Um, the scenario planning exercise will indicate your break-even points become even if revenue drops to certain levels and how much you need may need to reduce costs such as overheads. It needs to be a well-balanced approach so you don't cut out more deeply than you need to and risk leaving the business on its knees when the pandemic passes. Such things as looking at the government assistance, knowing what's available and how to access those funds. Oh, brilliant, Peter. Think, That's fantastic information. Are there any other hot tips that you'd be giving business owners right now to consider? Yes, it's very important that business owners speak to their professional advisors to determine exactly what assistance they are eligible for. It is imperative that owners prepare these financial plans to work through different scenario testing and how the business will perform in different situations. Cash forecasting is extremely important during these times. You know, some businesses will be able to continue with staff working from home. Many will not if these state lockdowns remain in place. So cash flow forecasting should be prepared to cover all different scenarios, such as business as usual, with staff working from home, 10, 20, 50% reduction in income with zero reduction in cost, 
What overhead costs can safely be taken out of the business? Estimates and amount of timing so that their business is eligible for Fed and state STEM packages or freezing of loan and interest repayment. Each business is different and as such their respective circumstances are different. The situation is changing extremely rapidly and continues to and businesses need to be prepared ahead of time in order to try and be proactive and ready for each scenario. It's important to remember that some months from now, it's impossible to predict when, the current situation where we face with this COVID-19 will too have passed. It, it's probably going to have left in its wake a trail of debris and destruction. We, we must not minimise it, but it will pass. Peter, I think that's a really valid point that you've made there. It's important to remember that every new chapter, every new phase that we go through is just another step in our business, is just another opportunity to reevaluate, reassess and combine the knowledge that we find around us and the opportunities to receive support. We know at the CFO Centre you do a lot to support your clients. Is there anything you personally are doing to just keep yourself afloat and keep yourself positive at the moment that you could help our business owners do for themselves? I think it's regularly about communication, Sean. We, we have team meetings, it used to be monthly, and we're having them weekly now, both at a Victorian level and a national level, and indeed a international level. Remember, we operate in 18 countries, and there's 700 of our CFOs globally. So just keeping communication and communication with our partners, such as yourselves, I think is extremely important. Peter, that's really valid. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're crazy busy with clients right now who have all got major concerns. If you're interested in talking to Peter, if you have any concerns about your financial structures, these are the guys that you need to be chatting to. They're genuinely there to help you, support you, and make sure you're getting the best information right now to actually make informed choices and move yourself forward so that you don't feel stuck or lacking in the ability to make the right decision. Peter, thank you so much for your time and look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you. Likewise, thank you, Sean.